Today I'm going to show you on how to field strip a Schmeisser's Patent pocket pistol. It was made in the Handel Suhl uh, company in Germany between 1921 and 1934. So an interesting little piece of firearm history. And I'll show you the cartridge. It is 25 ACP. So one, I think one of the smallest center fired cartridges. To put it in comparison, uh, regular 9mm uh, cartridge, it is quite small in comparison. So when it comes to disassembly uh, the Schmeisses patent has some specific features as in if you want to remove the magazine the pistol needs to be in safe mode so safety on then you can actually remove the magazine. Uh, furthermore you aren't able to put it back into fire if the magazine is not in there. So I can actually wreck the slide but as you can see it's not being cocked. This is the indicator so this little guy would be sticking out. I can't cock it in safe position. I can't put it on fire either. I can't pull the trigger. So what I need to do is I need to insert the magazine while the slide is actually back otherwise I can't physically insert the magazine. What I now can do with the magazine in there is I can put it on safe and cock it and as you can see this is the indicator so now I know it's hot. Just to show you the pistol is empty. So just a few let's say interesting safety mechanisms which you need to consider while field stripping it and putting it back together and actually function testing it. So now let's go over to disassembly. So we'll start with an empty magazine in the weapon and we'll put it into safe and now we're going to rack the slide back and push this safety lever a bit upwards so it connects with the slide and actually holds the slide back for us. Now we can check magazines empty, uh, nothing in the chamber, nothing on the bolt face, we know we have a safe firearm and this is also the starting position for field stripping. The slide locked back with the magazine in there. So now what we're gonna do is since we're in safe we can remove the magazine and when we have a look at the magazine it actually doubles as a disassembly tool and it, on the back it has this kind of little groove. What this will do is it will hook into the guide rod of the recoil spring to actually pull this outwards. So I'm going to show you. You're going to hook it and kind of pull backwards and the guide rod will be able to uh, you can actually pull it, but what you have to do is kind of tilt it, otherwise it will just go back into its hole again. So you have to pull and tilt. And in this position, what this frees actually when the guide rod is back here, it frees the barrel. And on the barrel there is this tab with a hole, and this hole is where this little um, guide rod goes through actually, so it's in here, and this holds the barrel to the frame of the pistol inside of here. So now that this guy is tilted we can lift the barrel out of there and continue with further disassembly and for this we're gonna pull on the uh, recoil or the, the guide rod of the recoil spring to put it back into its hole and we're gonna rack the slide, let it go carefully and we can take the slide off the frame of the pistol this will also allow you to remove the guide rod and the recoil spring. And inside of the slide you can remove the spring plus the kind of indicator on the back to see if it's cocked. And the striker itself. And this is all there is to it when it comes to disassembly. Now, well disassembly for a field strip. Uh, when it comes to cleaning you're gonna start with the tiny tiny barrel, clean the barrel, clean the entry of the chamber, the load, uh, the feed ramp, then put your attention towards the slide. You're gonna want to lubricate the slides just a tiny bit, a drop of oil, clean the housing of the firing pin and the firing pin so it moves freely in there and that's actually all there is to it. The tiny cartridge doesn't produce lots of uh, burnt powder or dirt or whatever so fairly easy and let's be honest you won't be putting a lot of rounds through this little guy anyhow. So when it comes to reassembly you're gonna start with the slide. 
and the striker. It has this little tab. This allows you to drop the striker in here and this tab guides it on the rail here. You're going to grab the spring of the striker. The spring a bit goes in first. The indicator just uh, pops out here a tiny bit. And you're going to grab the frame of the pistol, the guide rod of the recoil spring, the recoil spring. Put the guide, uh, the recoil spring over the guide. Put it into this hole here. And now you're going to grab the slide. Watch out so you don't tilt it, otherwise the striker will fall out. Put the slide over the little rail on the frame, and pull it back gently and lock it with the safety lever. So what you're going to see is uh, the spring is now compressed, the slide is on the rail, it's held in place by the safety and what this now allows us is to once again use our fancy magazine disassembly tool pulling on the rod and tilting it so it rests on this part here. Now the hole here is empty so we can drop in our barrel, pull on the guide rods and kind of straighten it, then you let it go so it vanishes in its hole. This holds the barrel in place and now you're going to grab your empty magazine, insert it, rack the slide, let go of the safety and that's all there is to it when it comes to reassembly. So now we're going to do some function testing. We insert in an empty magazine. We're going to check if we can put the gun into fire. This works. Put it back on safety. We're going to rack the slide while it's in safe position. And we should see that it isn't being cocked, the action. While putting it on fire, we can actually rack the slide and we can see now it's cocked. This guy sticking out the indicator. So now we're going to put it back on safe. <coughs> try to pull the trigger, we know it's unloaded, point in a safe direction. I cannot fire the weapon. If I put it on fire, I can fire the weapon. So that's all there is to it. We now know the weapon operates as intended, the safety features work, um, everything's back together, and we're done with field stripping and cleaning. So, have fun.